everyone. Welcome to another episode of English Necru Radio. I am Alexia, your co-host and guinea pig of everything. <laughs> and I'm here with our favorite teacher, English teacher in the world, Foster Hodge. How are you? Yo, 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 yo. What's up, my peeps? What's up, my homies? <laughs> hey, Alexia, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I'm happy that you are fine, but... I want to ask you a very important question. Why? Is Alexia your real name <laughs> or is that just a cover? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. So most of you that are listening right now probably already know, you probably heard on an episode at some point that Alexia loves, spies, the world of espionage, CIA, FBI, Anything like MI6. that. MI6. <laughs> Criminal Minds, NCIS, whatever, any of those shows, <laughs> Alexia loves that kind of stuff. And she thinks that she would be an awesome spy. <laughs> and then DC, she got to put that to the test. Yes, I went all by myself to the International Spy Museum. Yes, perfect. Museum. Museum. Perfect. One more time. International Spy Museum. International Spy Museum. Okay. Mu okay, again. International Spy Museum. Yeah. You don't have to put a stress on the mu. Imagine you're saying new. New? No, that's not right. No. Mew, 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 mew. Museum. 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 Okay, just repeat it five times with me. Museum. 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 Nice. Okay, tell me about it. You didn't go. I did not go. I was working, and Alexia went to the spy museum doing her own covert operation. What was it like? What did you do? What happened? So, I went there walking. I walked one hour. Yeah, can I make a quick recommendation? You say this a lot. Like, I went there walking, or do you want to go there walking? That's totally understandable. Everyone will know what you want to say, but it's not the most natural way to say that. I would just say I walked there. Okay. Yeah. When in doubt, speaking in the past, you can probably just use the simple past. Okay. Cool. Okay. I walked there. Perfect. I walked there for an hour. Can I say that? No. Okay. How? So, it took one hour to walk there. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> so, it was really, really interesting because it was early in the morning. So, I got to see a lot of places of D.C. that I wouldn't have seen if I was taking Uber or Subway. So, I decided to walk. It was a very, very good day to walk. And I passed through Chinatown. Yeah, which... I think we mentioned on the first episode that D.C. is a great city to walk in, just in general. Yeah, and Chinatown, unfortunately, we didn't have time to explore that much. But when we go back, I'm pretty sure that we are going to. Yeah. And then I was walking, 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 and I got to the museum. <laughs> Perfect. It's a new museum, and it's... It's interesting because because none of your friends that we talked about it, they went there, they visited. <laughs> yeah. So I think what you want to say is none of your friends have been there. Yeah. None of none of none of your friends have been there. Yeah. I mean, DC is very very famous for having some of the best museums in the world, and I think this museum is relatively new, and most museums in dc are free to enter yeah this, but one, this one you have to pay i had to pay 26 dollars plus yeah. taxes so it would be like 28 dollars more or less and you get um a badge mm -hmm. to get in and this badge has a code and then you start your visit with a mission you have a lot of computers in front of you that you can put your badge near and then you get your assi assignment. Yeah. I would say to swipe your badge. Okay. Like Just... when you swipe your badge, you swipe your card, anything like that. I didn't have to swipe, swipe. Yeah. But even if you're just putting it close, I would still say to swipe it. Okay. Yeah. So from 
the beginning, right out of the gate. It is very interactive, right? Yes. And I love, love museums that are interactive.、Mm-hmm. I love it so much. So I got my assignment, which means I got my name <laughs> for the mission. Do you remember your name? Ah, no. I remember the last name was Sing, Actually, which is. Singly? Oh, yeah. It's Finley what, Singh, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, kind of a strange name, which is good for a spy, I guess. Yeah, a teacher from New Mexico. Santa Fe. Yeah, from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yeah. And I had to travel to Mumbai、mm-hmm. to stop some weird, like, things with guns and drugs. I don't know. Can I ask you one thing? Mm hmm. What hospital were you born in in Santa Fe? <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you stop it. And then. Oh, you don't know? Oh, my God. Are you really from Santa Fe? Stop it. Is Finley your real name? <laughs> and then you have to wait and go inside like a movie theater. Yeah. Movie theater. Yeah, sure. And watch the introduction of the museum talking about what is that for and what is their purpose. And. Can I correct you real quick?、Mm-hmm. What is their purpose? Purpose. Yeah, so you're saying purpose. So you're making an O sound, but this is simply the U、uh、sound, the schwa, u son du schwa. Okay? Purpose. Perfect. Okay. And then there is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman? Yes. He narrates, narrates the film. The film. And you got to see all the. The people that you're gonna watch stories and understand more about them who are actually former spies and former directors from MI6, CIA, FBI, and the other one from Israel that I forgot. Mossad? Yeah. Yeah. So, just to clarify, Mossad is the Israeli intelligence agency, and MI6 is the British intelligence agency. Yeah. And then you start your visit, and there are a lot of things going on. And you can see that there are the same computers from the beginning are there. That, like those old timey computers? No, no, normal computers, like、uh, very modern ones.、Uh, okay. That you can continue your mission, and then you can see the next step. So each room it has a part of your mission. You can do it or not. I mean, you don't have to do it because there are a lot of things to see and to watch and to understand.、Yeah. And what? No, I said, yeah, yeah. I think that's really cool that it's interactive, that, man, kind of, especially for kids, that's great. But even when I go to museums, I notice at the beginning I'm really excited and really interested. And then I kind of lose a little bit of that motivation like halfway through. So that's really cool. They always have something like, okay, you're in this room. What yeah. do you do?、Yeah. You have a crime to solve. And they started right from the beginning, but of course, there are a lot of facts and paperwork and things from KGB, right? Of course. KGB. Uni- United、yeah. States against Russia. It's a non ending story. <laughs> Never ending. Never ending story.、Yeah. And once again, just a little bit of clarification the KGB is the Russian Secret Service. Yeah. And then there are a lot of parts and different sections that you can understand. Like during Hitler's time, what was the main thing that the United States did? Like which kind of spies there were there? Right. What kind of spies were they using in World War II? Exactly. That kind of thing. And they have one section only for women. So you can see the different types of women. That were chosen, and a lot of them that you can、uh, see the, the movies and their、uh, deployment. Yeah, testimonial. Yeah, testimonial. They, they, all of them, they say that back in the days, CIA or, or FBI,、mm-hmm. back no, in the day, back in the day, no women would be chosen to be a spy. You had to start. Being like a secretary or a, a typer, like, do you know? Yeah. I forgot the name. Yeah, I don't remember how we call that, but someone that gets paid to 
type. To type. Yeah, I think we'd just say a secretary back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. So women in the past, they would start in a more administrative position. They would not immediately be chosen to do like operations work, to be an agent. No, but all of them, they said that once you're inside one of these offices, you can take like workshops and learn how to take pictures and learn more about photography and learn more about something else. I don't right. know. And then you can start proving yourself to be a good spy or a good, I don't know, director yeah. of a section. Hashtag girl boss. Yes. <laughs> and there is a, the cyber, I forgot the name again, the cyber attack mm -hmm. part that is one of the main things nowadays. Yeah. Cyber warfare. Yeah. And then they take tests with you, like... What would you do if you were under a cyber attack? And do you think that this happened uh, in real time or not? And then you could see that this actually happened and no one in the world knew that. And That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So there are a lot of different things going on. Just a fun fact that I think you told me. Maybe I heard it on a podcast. But we always say CIA agents. Like, oh, they're a spy. They're an agent. But apparently in the CIA, they actually say CIA officers. Oh, yeah. I, I, it wasn't me. Yeah, I don't remember that. Fact. <laughs> I don't remember that. So my main point about it, if you like it, and if you want to really, really go to an interactive museum and Very have good. fun and spend there two hours, three hours, you have things to do, I promise, and you can learn a lot more about this world that we don't have much exposure. Exposure. Yeah, the world of espionage. I would also recommend if you're into spies, we have both been listening to a podcast called I Spy. That's just I, like me and you. I, the letter <laughs> I, me, and spy. Yeah. S P Y. And it's really good. It's a really good podcast with interviews from former agents, officers from all around the world. Very cool. Yeah. So that's it. Cool. So Alexia or Finley <laughs> or whatever your real name is, we will talk to you tomorrow. Yes, of course. Okay. Awesome. See Bye. you tomorrow. Bye-bye.